Welcome to City Scene TV. I'm Alexis Wallace. And I'm Sandy Seekins. We're here today with Janice Anderson of the Compassionate Friends of Ventura County. Welcome, Janice. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. It's um, a treat for me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, take a minute and tell us, what is Compassionate Friends? Yes. Um, we are a support group. We are a self-help support group. Uh, when a child passes on, the parents and grandparents and siblings, they have a feeling of intense pain and feel hopelessness, uh, isolated and abandonment. Therefore, the Compassionate Friends, which is worldwide, we are here for them to support them, to bring hope back again and support and care along their grief journey. We um, also, we are here for the friends that support them. We want them to be able to be there in our support group meetings as well because they, it's, it's good for them. It's good to know that they are there to listen to them. That's all a parent wants when they lose a child. There's a national conference. Um, can you talk about that? Yes. Um, actually, it was July the 8th, 9th, and 10th and it was held at Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, there was probably about 2,000, at least 2,000 attendees, oh. which included parents, single mom or a single dad, a grandparents, and siblings. Um, there are many, many workshops to choose from. And I have a, a few here. Um, one was a grieving a stigmatized loss, how parents and siblings heal, and that was a panel they have for men only, a men's panel frankly discussing surviving grief as a man, for a woman helping understanding the grief of a man, healing, guilt, and regrets, the what ifs, as well as whispers of love, signs from our loved ones, and seasoned greeters, the longer um, grief journey. We have our meetings, just to let you know, um, we do have meetings here in Los Robles Hospital that we support the parents, so just to let you know that. But let's go back to the um, conference. Um, on Friday, there was a Saturday luncheon, which included Olivia Newton-John singing. Wow. And um, it was, she lost her uh, brother quite a while mm -hmm. back, so she was very endearing and um, signed autographs. and. And not just that, but workshops are going on all day long, and sometimes they get overwhelming because there are so many hundreds of workshops to choose from. The siblings, when they they had their separate workshops, they alone had this bond. When they meet, they've not met before from a different state, they also attend these um, workshops. It's really neat to see this bond that they create even after the conference. The um, Saturday night dinner banquet was held with a beautiful and sacred candlelighting ceremony. And then we have our Sunday, which is our nine o'clock walk to remember, which is a mile and a half walk. And we walked our banner proudly. Uh, we had a mom make our banner for us. And each uh, one of the parents bought one of the butterflies that was stitched on and a personal message with their child's name on oh, it and a precious little message and put the dates of their child's birth as well as their passing date. So it was very emotional. Sounds uh, like it. We do have some photos that you've brought for us from the conference. Yes. Yeah. That's our beautiful banner. That was before we left. <laughs> We had some extras, actually. We had more um, butterflies that we got it right at the end, and so I had literally had to pin them on <laughs> instead of stitching them on. But those are some of the precious memories. And that is our memorial site centerpiece. That's beautiful. Thank it is you. really pretty. Thank you. We are, um, we are very um, honored, uh, heartfelt love and support from Conejo Mountain Memorial Park, providing us 800 square feet of land and here in Camarillo. And we are just so excited. Um, the statue itself was supposed to be delivered any time now. And we are so looking forward to beginning putting this all together. Uh, we have two engraved benches that will also be installed, as well as a beautiful sacred, it's going to be saying a, it's a, a welcoming stone. 
but I'll say welcome to this sacred garden. It's not just for us, it's for our community, all, our Ventura County. We want people to go there and be able to bring peace to their hearts um, and, and enjoy the beautiful surroundings of the Camarillo, Camarillo Hills as well as the grounds of the cemetery. Um, we need a dedication date still, so we're probably looking maybe in September for that, for a dedication date. So mm -hmm. we'll be in the newspaper and the star, and, and hopefully I will be called back here. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, well, we want one more bench, and we're asking for contributions. It's going to be costing about $2,000 for one more bench. There will also be a beautiful butterflies. Uh, bushes surrounding the um, the edging of the area, and um, this statue itself has a true meaning of joy and laughter that our kids left us, and that's what we want when people come there. That's beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Uh, if someone wanted to contribute, could they go to your website to find out information about that? Yes, th they could also email me and get all the information, but they can go to the website as well. Um, my email address is gjanderson at sbcglobal.net. And the website is www.vcctcf.org, right? Right, Alexis. That's great. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, there are increasing problems with uh, drug use and suicides. Right. Is this an area that the organization is investigating? Um, yes. It, it's really sad and unfortunate this is happening. We have a number of parents attending our support group meetings that seem to be increasing because of this cause. Um, this is uh, one of the stigmas of many children's passing, and this is just one of them, one of many. Um, you hear every day of drug overdoses and suicides, and some of the veterans coming back from war are included in that big number. Um, we are taking this serious and want to help the parents and families. Therefore, our plan is to attend um, more classes and learning, uh, getting more education to be able to embrace them in the way that we should be embracing them for this um, awful cause. So we want to make for sure we're doing right by them. Mm -hmm. You talked a little bit about the worldwide candle lighting. What yeah. is that? Oh my gosh. Um, Actually, this year it's held on December the 11th at Ascension Lutheran Church in Thousand Oaks on Hillcrest. Um, this is worldwide. This has been going on for 22 years now. Wow. Uh, we alone uh, have been providing this ceremony here for Ventura County for 11 years. And we're very honored. Ours has been the largest um, in the United States alone, we've been told, from the corporate office. Uh -huh. We've had up to 700 attendees. Every, every December, the second Sunday in every December at 7 p.m., candles are being lit around this globe mm. and to honor the children's memories who have passed before us. It's a beautiful evening. Oh, and just like in it. our ceremony itself, there is so much love and embracing that goes on. It's a, it's a huge, huge energy level that you feel with so many people in that room of 700 plus attending and seeing all these candles lit with pictures of their children on the altars. Mm -hmm. We have a bagpiper that begins and um, this year we're going to be doing a photo slide of the children along with some beautiful, uh, beautiful music. We're just looking for the right music right now. Mm -hmm. We start planning that actually in August and if we don't get ahead of that, then we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> so we, um, we are grateful to have that evening for parents and their families. Mm -hmm. And lastly, uh, there is a wonderful in memorial section on your website that lists the names of those children who have passed on. Uh, I assume these children are ones that uh, are involved with your organization? Yes, they are. Um, they're the ones that have been coming to our support group meetings. Um, we, it's, it's not updated right now. We probably have about um, 150 to 200 and, uh, names listed on that list right now. Um, none of them have been added for this year yet, which I need to get on top of that. But um, 
this shows the community on how many children alone have passed away mm -hmm. just in Ventura County since this website has um, been active. And, you know, it, we want to honor the children that the way they should be honored and in their mm -hmm. memory. I also just uh, want to leave these with you. These are pamphlets for you. Um, and we have adult, we, we parents, especially um, the very fresh ones that are grieving. And actually, in our last meeting, we had three new parents come wow. and within a month of their passing of their child. So there was a, a very emotional uh, support group meeting last Thursday. But here's, we have, a, we make them, they're very special, the grandparents, um, the siblings, we have them for brothers and sisters. They're the hidden grievers of the family. Mm -hmm. We want to reach out to them and try mm -hmm. to have them there in our support group. We'd also like to have a sibling group alone just for them. Sure. And hopefully mm -hmm. we will someday. Mm -hmm. um, here's one on even substance abuse and how this is for the public really. How can I help? As well as suicide and parents are now childless. And then there's stillborn, miscarriage, and infant death as well. So we have others, but those are the main brochures that we hand out. Well, thank you so much for coming to talk about this program oh on gosh. City Scene TV. It was great to hear about it. And again, you can go to the website. So if you yes. want to 